Chairman and Chief Executive of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, Brigadier General Buba Marwa, retired, has taxed officers and men of the anti-narcotic agency to make it difficult for drug barons, traffickers and cartels to operate in Nigeria in the new year. The agency says it is poised to achieve greater heights in 2022 following its successes in this year. The narcotic agency attributes the successes to the increase in physical and psychological motivation by the new chairman. For instance, the harmonization exercise carried out led to the promotion of 3,506 officers whose career had stagnated for up to 20 years, while welfare schemes, including burial allowance and health management organization schemes, were adopted and paid promptly. And especially in this last quarter of the year, such as the interception of three bandits caught with three AK-47 rifles in Katina, a gun runner nabbed with a machine gun in Benue, a pair of cocaine pushers at Enugu International Airport, and daring suspects who attempted to traffic two tons of cannabis in a concrete mixer caught in Adamawa after spending one month on the road. Also not to be forgotten is the arrest of the drug kingpin who offered $24,500 bribe to compromise investigation at the Murtada Mohammed International Airport Lagos and so on and so forth. The event also coincided with the fourth quarter commendation and award ceremony of the agency with Adamawa Command receiving the award for diligent prosecution and highest convictions. But my motivi motivation for this excellent award is no other but my honorable chairman, chief executive officer, in the person of Brigadier General Mohammed Buba Marwa, retired, our C chairman, chief executive officer. He has actually set the pace. He has given us the motivation. We are just copying him. What we've seen him do, we replicate. Personal commendation awards were also issued with the case of Mohammed Ahmad, who rejected a bribe of $24,500 from a drug baron standing out. What is not for you is not for you. What you are not supposed to collect, you, are not, you, you, you ought not to collect. I know the dangers inherent in compromising drug, issue, uh, drug cases. I know. I have been in this job for over 20 years. I know what drug can do for the whole nation. So why should I collect money to compromise drug cases? I won't. I won't do that. I don't think I will do that. And I don't, urge, I don't think any officer should do that. Any NDL officer should do that. So that has just been my motivation all along. Don't compromise any drug case because I know what drug will do to the whole society. With series of innovations and motivation like the new salary structure and the new anti-drug war policy in place, the agency says it hopes that the successes in 2021, including impounding over 3.3 million kilograms of assorted drugs, will be eclipsed in 2022. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News.